bread that has like this dip with oil and like pepper. Ooh. What's up guys, Redlander here, and tonight my cousins and I are gonna head out to a restaurant in Loma Linda. It's kind of a special time right now because my cousin passed his nursing boards. So he's all done with nursing school, he passed his nursing boards, and he's officially a registered nurse. So we're super excited for him, we're super happy for him. And uh, as far as tonight, we're gonna head out to a restaurant called Najwa's. It's a Seventh-day Adventist owned establishment. So for those of you who don't know where Najwa's is, it's on Redlands Boulevard, it's near Loma Linda University, it's catty corner to the Del Taco um, off of Anderson, off the 10 freeway. So before I head out, I really want to emphasize something. So when you go to a restaurant, you're typically inclined to order a soft drink or a juice or something of that nature. But my advice to you is to never drink your calories. If you drink your calories and you're trying to stay at a caloric deficit, it's gonna make it all the harder for you. That's something that I live by. That's a personal preference of mine. There are people out there who can stay on a caloric deficit uh, while still drinking their calories and hey, my hat's off to them. Now when I go to a restaurant or when I go to a social gathering, I try to stick to three main drinks. One of them is black coffee, ice water or mineral water. So when it comes to alcohol, I myself am not enticed by it. Being a Seventh-day Adventist Christian, I don't believe in drinking alcohol or putting alcohol into my body. Uh, so that aspect of a social gathering or going into an establishment does not really affect me, which helps me in the long run because I don't drink my calories anyway. So as far as my diet for today, I had my standard oatmeal recipe. It's just half a cup of oatmeal, cacao powder, whey protein, and peanut butter. And then later on, I'm gonna have some hard boiled egg whites. What I do is I just hard boil the eggs and then take out the yolks and just eat the egg whites. And to me, that's like the best source of protein you can get. It's the purest form. Uh, and then I'm just gonna fast until I meet up with the guys later. And yeah, it's all about just strategizing. You have to strategize to be successful and you have to stay consistent and persistent. And uh, yeah, you'll see the results. So like I said, I'm super excited to head out tonight. I'm super excited to spend time with my cousins. And uh, we're all about fitness. We're all about the fitness lifestyle. So we're undoubtedly gonna talk about fitness and how to live a better life, a better, healthy, wholesome life. So okay. it's getting pretty real. They're the navies. So navy blue, that's the color for uh, nurses. Nurses, right here. And then I got my scrub top fitted a little bit with a little breathing room. Wow, look at that, man. I'm so happy, I'm so proud. Can you believe this? It's crazy. I'm gonna be making decisions and communicating with the physicians. And saving lives. And getting strong with legs. And spreading. Spreading knowledge and love. And love and the Seventh-day Adventist belief. What's up, Aaron? How you doing, man? What's up, man? I'm good. So you guys just hit legs right now? Yeah, it was a, it was a good day, actually. All right. Kind of PR'd since my uh, second surgery for my ACL. Mm. It was good, though. What it's we good. get? Tell them what PR is. Tell the people what PR is. What is it? Personal record. Personal record. Yeah. PR. He squatted. We started with 135, we went up to 185, what did I 225, that? 275, 315, and he got 10, he got 10 reps yeah. for each of those lifts. He's strong, man. So, these, little, these little stilts. Are you kidding me? My stilts can't even carry anything. <laughs> Your stilts are loaded but stilts. Tell, we we yeah. have much to tell you about our El Titan diet. He's yeah. the one who introduced me, He'll, we'll speak on it. On our way to it's the challenge of the year. Oh, new diet? That's good. New diet. Challenge. We're gonna People, it's a new lifestyle. Yeah. It's not good. just a challenge. But it's not, it's not like intermittent fasting or what? It, it is. It's, it's intermittent included. fasting. It's included. It's inclusive. Inclusive. You must hear oh, more about it. Come on, let's go. So the new lifestyle. First things first, uh, a gallon of water per day. No excuses. No excuse. Everything is no excuses. There's no substitutions. There's no sympathy. If you're sick, what happens? No excuses. Sorry. We can modify things slightly, but no excuses. Things have to get done. Dang. Uh, so yeah, the first thing, a gallon a day. As you can see, I'm close to being done for my day already. Second thing, uh, strict diet. Okay. Uh, no pizza, no processed sugars. No pizza. No fried foods. I'm pizza man. 
I eat pizza. He's pizza man, I'm sugar man, so we're both dying over here. He's the candy man from Willy Wonka. He's Augustus Gloop. <laughs> I just had to pass on pizza today too. I was today. Dying. Tell him about Deep it. Deep dish quick. pizza. Oh, it was fat from work. And it was free. <sighs> free pizza. Nothing Alfredo, better than free food. All meat pizza had to pass. Had to eat my apple instead. No pizza. <laughs> hey man, you gotta make Dead sacrifice. <laughs> so today for lunch I had an apple. Anyways, so that was what? Two things. The third thing, you have to read. 10 pages per day, non-negotiable, of really? uh, personal development, entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial. And that's psychological? Book. Like it's, the psychological aspect of the? It's, uh, it's just like a mental, like any book that you, that would, would, would uh, help you with your personal health or entrepreneurial type of success in life. Anything to develop. Your, it could be anything for like for work, for developing your career, for developing your diet, for developing your exercise routine. Just something to better yourself. Don't not a novel, not a not a fictional oh, okay. Star Wars book or whatever. Like what I read. Uh, the fourth thing: two workouts today, or two workouts every day. Every two, day. Two. Forty-five minutes oh each, my. and one of them must be outside required has to rain sleet or snow oh my goodness so tell them what you do so mm -hmm. in order for me to have time to do them what time do you have work tell them your work days naturally well usually i have to be like in la like at seven so i have to leave my house by five ish to make sure i'm there on time so what i've been doing is i usually would wake up at four but in order to get my 45 minutes in i'll wake up at three get dressed real quick and go for a run right away or like a jog Around, jog, your, around your block? Yeah, it usually ends up being like three miles, maybe three and a half. Uh, it's just 45 minutes real quick. It's super cold in the morning. It's still dark outside. There's Dang. not even any cars on the road, but whatever. Just go get it done. How long for? 45 minutes. Wow. 45 minutes in the morning and then go to work, come back, and 45 minutes. Usually, so I do cardio in the morning and then do a lift in the afternoon if I can. If not, then I'll just do cardio again, like if the gym's closed or whatever. But. And then if, if you if you have to, it can be an hour and a half combined if like need be. As long as you get your two 45 minutes in and half of it's outside. And how does intermittent fasting tie into all this? It's part of the diet. It's part of the strict diet. No oh. excuses. Oh, I see. So it doesn't no matter. compromises. So it doesn't matter because I know Aaron likes to have a little breakfast in the morning because he... And then we still have black coffee, right? You consume black coffee this morning? I actually stopped with the caffeine because I wasn't able to get my gallon a day. I was, I can't really go pee at work all that much. Just, oh yeah, because it's a natural diuretic. Yeah, so I switched for my like morning jump. I started doing BCAs and that's enough hey. substitute for coffee. And It'll blunt your appetite so how much enough. Do you, how much do you pee a day, Aaron? <laughs> Probably like eight or nine times. But if you yeah. fall off one day, you have to pick it right up. You gotta start back at day one. Man, and, and that's what I love about our family is we're very motivating and we're, we're we like oh, to achieve goals, huh? Yep, you have to keep going because if not, we're gonna die of diabetes. Yep. Oh. Like look what we're drinking, water with lemon. Yeah, we're having a little bit of pita bread with, with some of the oil vinaigrette. But we're gonna enjoy a meal. We, we, you know, we all hit the gym. But it's about just pushing your body every day. Can you push yourself? Can you push your, your limit? And that's what Gabriel's channel is about. That's what we're trying to be about. And I believe that if you work as a whole, as a unit, and people join join the train, the train's gonna continue and it won't, it won't, it won't stop. You just gotta hop on. Andre, so what'd you think about this restaurant? Oh man, this honestly, what do you think, Kobe's Coffee? Like, would you recommend this to everyone out there? Pretty much, as long as you're not allergic to hummus, it's fire, it's fuego, and uh, the staff here is wonderful. It's very good Mediterranean. If you want like some authentic Mediterranean, if you want Najwa's Mediterranean cuisine, this is the SDA um, restaurant owned. 